Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime and I love this toy. Originally released in March of 2019, he is still available in stores right now as of the time of this recording. He is a leader class and retails for approximately $50. And I absolutely love this figure because Galaxy Convoy or Cybertron Optimus Prime is probably one of my favorite Optimus Prime versions that has ever been. And this is a great homage to that figure. Here in truck mode, uh, Optimus is approximately 10 and a half inches long and about four inches tall. So not quite as big as the original Cybertron Optimus Prime. And of course, he doesn't do everything the original one did. He doesn't have the, the, the flying fire truck mode, which is ridiculous, but fun. And of course, he doesn't have all the different combinations, but yeah, he looks really cool. This is a retool of a figure we already got that Siege Ultra Magnus, this is a heavy retool of that figure, but they did a fantastic job of really translating that figure into the Cybertron Optimus Prime. Really, really cool. Looks very nice all the way around. Uh, rolls really nicely. Uh, minor, minor gripe is I had hoped they would have come up with a way of, I don't know, maybe flipping or sliding this wheel back or maybe having some sort of a panel that would flip up and uh, cover this up some. It would have been nice to, to, to do something about this gap here. But other than that, the vehicle looks fantastic. We've got the, the water guns up here or the cannons. So these can actually pivot up and down and they can also rotate. This gun here is removable. So this one will work for the robot mode later. And then, of course, you can plug this in anywhere. You can plug it in here on the top. You can plug it here on the side. You know, whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. Uh, you can also bring in some of these uh, fire effects from your... Uh, little target masters and then you can have those there as well so that will also work and then you've also got these two guns back here and you can really kind of put these anywhere this is just the way that i prefer them but uh yeah you can have these facing forward in the original toy these guns would have been inside of here tucked away and then you wouldn't actually see them until you got into an attack mode but you can bring them over here to this side. You can flip them and maybe put them up like this if you'd like, if you think that would look better. So again, lots of options of different things that we can do here. Just like that. So that's another thing that works. And these little effects will also work for these guns, which is cool. So that'll work there. This will also work up here. So really neat stuff right there. All right, so I'm going to take these and put them back the way that I prefer them, which is on these sides here because this is also going to work for the super robot mode. And of course, they've got the handle here on the bottom as well, so you can actually put them out to the side like this too. You know, all, all kinds of stuff. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. So set that off there. And real quick size comparison. Here he is with Cybertron Optimus Prime. So you can see what these guys look like together. Quite the size difference. So even though this main figure here is a Voyager figure, uh, same with uh, as it was with Magnus, because we've got the trailer here and the entire trailer is going to combine and make a super robot, that's why we're getting them at a leader size price point. So we'll set him aside. And uh, just for kicks, because I've got him on the desk here, he is next to Megatron. So you can see what these guys size like together. So... Very nice, very fun figure. We'll go ahead and remove that, and we'll get into transformation. So we're going to just move these up out of the way. Take the sides here and just pop them off. They are pegged in quite tightly, as you saw, right there. So that's where those are pegged in. We're going to untap those from there and there. And you're probably going to separate the robot legs while you're doing that, which is okay. And then we're going to separate the entire trailer from the robot or from the from the cab. So it is plugged in here. And then also it is plugged in there. So all you got to do really is just pull back on it. And the whole thing should separate just like that. 
go ahead and put this guy back together. And there you go. This whole thing separates, and then we can concentrate on this guy. Transformation for this part of the figure is, if you've already had Ultra Magnus, then you're going to be very familiar with this. It's going to be the exact same. So we're going to start out here on the back where the feet are at. We're going to separate these, and it's important that you separate the feet before bringing them down, because there is a tab right there that tabs into the inside of the thigh right there. So it's important that you separate these, bring them down, and then you can bring them in. And then we're going to reach down here, get the heel pieces out. That's pretty much it for that. We're going to take the arms here and bring these around. Not all the way, just out to the side like so, because we still need to open this up. We're going to go ahead and turn the entire thing around. And now we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to bring this piece up, this whole uh, front wheels here. We're going to rotate these up on the spine until it clicks into place, and then we're going to bring the whole torso back. Go ahead and open the chest to reveal the head. Bring that out. And pop the chest back in place. And finally, we're going to lock the chest in place with the arm pieces right here. Straighten them out. Straighten out his fists. And there is your Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime in robot mode. And uh, we're going to have to bring him up. He looks okay. Um, he's... He's okay. Um, honestly, I thought I liked the um, the mold for Ultra Magnus, the white part of the of the of the cab robot. I like that mold better for an Optimus Prime. This one is okay. He looks all right, but he's not great. He looks a little bulky. I don't know if his head, maybe his head's a little too small, or his chest is a little too square. I don't know. It, it, it kind of gives me almost an Energon vibe, where he's just a little too bulky for a Prime. Um, it's cool. It's a cool take on Optimus Prime. It's something different, and I'm all for having new and different Primes. Uh, but something about this, I don't know. It's it's. I'm not 100% with this, but still, I mean, he's perfectly fine. Here in robot mode, he stands about six and a half inches tall. So again, you know, a perfectly good, serviceable size for a Voyager figure. Here he is with the classic animation style um, Siege Optimus Prime. So you can see they stand just about the same height. Uh, this one's just a wee bit taller at seven inches. So he looks okay. Uh, articulation, ball, uh, ball joint at the head. The shoulders can go all the way around. They can also go in and out. You have a rotation at the bicep. You have a bend at the elbow and you have a rotation at the, uh, at the wrist. You've got a waist rotation. Hips can go forward, back, and in and out. You have a rotation here at the thigh. You have a bend at the knee, and you do have some ankle tilt. So really good uh, set of articulation for this figure. Now, there is a couple of things that I like to do with this guy. Um, so first off, let's bring in this weapon. So again, I'm just going to pop off the weapon from the uh, from the ladder piece or the hose piece. And there you go. That, that could work as Optimus' gun right there. Or you can take the two black guns that you saw mounted on the back of the vehicle. And you can bring these in. And you can make that a weapon for Prime. Or you can give them one of each. You know, whatever you want to do. So there you go. So you got a couple of options for weapons for Prime right there. Now, a couple of things that I like to do. Of course, this is an okay looking Prime. Um, something that I like to do with him personally that I think makes him look a little better. And a little more like the, let's call it the small robot version of the Cybertron Prime. So I like to take these pieces off, which these are pieces that we're going to use in the super robot mode anyway. So I like to take these off, drop them, and then pick them back up, open this up. And then you're going to line up the tab and the peg with the tab hole and the peg hole on the side of each arm. So I like to put these in here. And then I like to reach into the trailer. There are two pieces in the trailer that are also meant to be combined for the super robot mode, which are the shoulder pieces. And these are meant to be, if, if you look at them together like this, these are meant to be the front of the truck. And in the original figure, these are what turned into the shoulders. So I like to go ahead and put these on him now. And they're just going to slide on. And I think that makes them look a little more like the Cybertron Optimus Prime figure that we're all used to seeing. Uh, and sure, there's, uh, these are pieces that were meant for the Super Robot mode, but in the original toy and in the original figure, these pieces were on him whether he was in regular Robot mode or Super Robot mode. So I, I like this. Now, something funny. Let's bring in the. Uh, let's bring him in close and take a look at the head because the head is really cool. Really, really nice sculpt for the head. Now. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I always harp on primes that don't have mouth plates. I like my primes to have a mouth plate. 
I, that's just the way it is. In fact, with my, uh, I have several versions of the original Cybertron Prime. Uh, I always display him with the mouthpiece open, no matter what. Even when he was in small robot mode. Um, if you're not familiar, when he was in regular robot mode, he did not have a mouth plate. It was when he upgraded or combined with the trailer to be the super robot mode. That is when he would have the mouth plate. And so you got a little lever on the back that you can put the mouth plate on and off. I always have the mouth plate on no matter what. That being said, it feels weird because with this figure, I kind of wish they would have given him an open mouth head for this robot. Since we have the big combined super robot head with mouth plate uh, for the combination that we're going to see here in a minute. So <laughs> that's just me. Call me crazy. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I kind of wish it would have had a mouth plate so, or, or had a uh, no mouth plate for this version. So anyway, there it is. And um, we're all set and ready for the uh, combination. So let's go ahead and take these off so we can show you everything from the beginning. And we'll get this guy combined. So the first step we've already done, which was to remove these pieces. So we'll just go ahead and set these off to the side for now. We're going to pop this um, waist piece open, turn it around and pop that back in place. Bring the whole chest piece forward again, pop him open and put the head away. So we're not gonna use this head anymore. While we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and take this piece right here. This is where the wheels were mounted and bring it back down to the bottom. We need that down there. And then go ahead and lock in his arms and push the whole torso back in place. Finally, we're gonna take the heel pieces and put them away. And there we go, Prime is ready for a combination. We can set him aside and bring in the trailer. So now we're gonna start separating all of this. So uh, open up the wings if that helps you see any better. Now uh, we're going to take this whole back piece here and separate it from this front piece here. And it is it is tabbed in in five different places. We got three tabs here, here, and there. And then we've got two mushroom pegs, one on each side, one here, and then one here. So they are, at least on my copy, they are very tight. So you really got to work these, really got to work it and just be careful and gentle with it. There we go. And that's the, that's the, the goal right there is to separate these two. I'm going to take these pieces, separate them. And this is where those pieces that we use for the shoulders are normally stored. So we'll go ahead and slide these out, set those off to the side. And these are our leg pieces. We can go ahead and take these and combine them. And these are going to slip in from the side, just like they did with the previous version of the figure. Just slide in just like that. And just like that. So that's ready to go. We can go ahead and give them once again, the arm pieces. And the shoulder pieces. And I didn't show this before. So there's a peg hole right in there. And that's meant for the um, the smokestack. And then there's a little peg right there. And that's meant for that peg right there. So there's only one way of putting these on. And that's just going to slide on down on each side. There you go. That's all set. Now we're going to concentrate on this piece. We're going to move these out of the way. Open the wings up. And so let's make some room here because this gets big. All right, so we're going to bring this guy all the way around. This is going to accordion. These are This is pegged in, in here as well. I forgot to mention that. There's a tab right there. So we're going to untab that. And this, this plastic, is, is if you can see, this plastic is very soft and very pliable. So you really want to be careful when you're tabbing these in. Some of these tabs are so tight. It just really feels like you're going to break something. So grab things from the base, from the bottom. Make sure that you're applying equal pressure, uh, not just pulling from an end or something like that, because I'm afraid something's going to snap eventually. Move these out of the way. Bring this all the way up and accordion it in like that. And then you can bring these down again, just like that. And then we are going to come over here to the front. Open this, turn the head around. Open up the chest and just bring that up again. And then we're going to take our gun parts here, rotate these back, and flip them up. Just like so. Now, we're going to take this whole piece here, and we're going to plug it into his spine. And once that's done, the whole chest piece is going to come down, and these two clips are going to clip into the front of the chest. Just like that. That good and solid. Bring these down, and that's going to clip into place. You just heard everything clip. And there is our gal Galaxy Convoy, all combined and ready for battle. And he looks awesome. 
Here in his super robot mode, Optimus Prime is approximately eight inches tall How at the top of the head. In this configuration that I currently have him with his guns all the way up like that, uh, he goes to about 10 inches on this side, 11 on that side. So, you know, take that into consideration when you're planning your display. He looks amazing. Let's just come in close and take a look at that head. That is gorgeous. And you can see what I was talking about. He's already got the super robot mode head with the mouth plate. So I think it would have been cool to just have a regular head for the regular robot with the mouthpiece open. I don't know. Just call me crazy. It would have been a little more reminiscent of the original figure. Now, the articulation all stayed the same. We do have a new head, but it is also on a ball joint. The shoulders are the same articulation. They, they still go all the way around in and out. Same arms, so bicep, um, elbows, and wrist. We still have rotation at the waist, same thigh, so forward, backward, in and out. We still have a bend at the knee. Uh, we did lose uh, the ankles, but we have new ankles, and these also have an ankle tilt. So, yeah, he pretty much retains all the same articulation that he had in his regular robot mode, which is really, really cool. Now, a couple of things we can do here for uh, arming him up. Actually, before we arm him up, let's do some comparisons real quick, just so you can see. He, like I said, he grew to eight inches, so he grew some... Not a whole lot. Here he is once again with the classic animation Siege Optimus Prime. So where before he was just, just under half an inch shorter than this guy, now he's a whole two inches taller. So there you go. That's what those guys are going to look like together. Now, a couple of things we can do here for weapons. Again, of course, you can take these off and he can sling these in each, in each hand. So he can do that. Or you can take this one off and hand them that one. So there's that. And then, of course, there is the, the super weapon mode. <laughs> so these are going to come all the way down and around. And these have a handle, one on each side. And this handle is on a slider. So you can actually slide these forward and backwards. So this is going to help you to pose them. So we're going to actually put them all the way forward so that we can reach forward this guy. And they are underslung. And this is the way they, the original was. So we're going to do the same with this one. And I'm going to leave the gun attached to it as well because that's also something that the original figure did and get that guy pegged in right there and you can peg him all the way into the fist or you can peg him just slightly if you want to angle it a little bit you can play with it and just kind of get him so he looks just right the way you like him so oh, this one came unpegged peg that one back in and you can open them up a little bit just like that and then you can bring these up or actually, probably work better if you flip them. At least for what I'm trying to do here, it'll work better if we flip them. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. So in the original uh, toy, if you haven't seen it, I have a review of the original toy. Uh, I have several of them, actually. So I'm going to put some links down below so you can see what the original one did that uh, looked like. But when he did the, the super charge attack mode, I, I don't remember what it was called. It looked something like this. And uh, yeah, there was pretty much just energy bolts coming out of everywhere <laughs> for that guy when he did it. So there you go. That's, that's what that would have looked like. Which are, These guns were actually like stored in the back here and they would rotate around and then come up like that. And yeah, it would look something like this. It was insane. It was like the super powered uh, kill everything <laughs> attack that he had. It was fantastic. Very cool figure. And uh, why don't we do this? Let's put this guy right in there. Pew! <laughs> that, looks, that looks good. Yeah, I absolutely adore this figure. Like I said, the original Cybertron or Galaxy Force Convoy or Cybertron Optimus Prime, one of my favorite Optimus Primes ever. So the fact that we got this homage to that figure, that, that homages it quite well. It, it doesn't do, like I said, it doesn't do everything the original figure did, but it does a lot and it does it well. It does it right. There's very few minor gripes with this. Like I said, the thing with the wheels, the front wheels in the robot mode, or sorry, in the truck mode, and maybe the headpiece for the small robot mode. Uh, but other than that, yeah, everything this figure does, it does it right. This is a very, very fun figure. Like I said, it's still in shelves right now. As of the time of this recording, it retails for approximately $50. Very fun figure. I definitely recommend you get this one. And I think that about does it for Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.